Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today is your second session for AWS Developer Associate Certification. I hope you have already watched the first episode and if you haven't then please do it right now before moving forward. Today we have a very important session where we will talk about the AWS services that we will cover in this course together. So make sure you watch the video till the end because we have a lot of details to get into. So if you are ready, let's begin. In this course, we will cover the units of AWS in terms of categories that will influence how you handle each specific use case with real-time examples. And here are the domain-based categories that we will look into. So we will go through analytics, application integration with AWS, containers, cost and capacity management, data movement, developer tools that we will be making use of, and instances that is basically virtual machines, management and governance of the accounts and resources, networking and content delivery, security, and serverless designs. The most important thing for you to get into your head is that you already know how things work. Now it's time for you to write some code and start implementing. Think of yourself as a developer. Think like a developer. Act like a developer and apply like a developer. Remember this line very carefully. And to do that confidently, you need to know the services associated to each of these pillars. So let's see what they are. When it comes to analytics, we will learn about Amazon Elasticsearch or Elasticsearch service that is Amazon ES. And we'll also talk about Amazon Kinesis service. For application integration, we will focus on Amazon Event Bridge, CloudWatch events. Amazon Simple Notification Service, that is Amazon SNS. We will also talk about Simple Queue Service, that is SQS, and AWS Step Functions. This actually will help you understand the unification of services and applications and how they can talk to each other. Okay, so you'll understand the unification of services and applications and how we can talk to each other or how they can talk to each other. We already know about compute. So we will be talking about Amazon EC2, pretty popular, AWS Elastic Beanstalk and AWS Lambda. So in our previous course for AWS Solutions Architect, we did not discuss in depth about Elastic Beanstalk, but here we will be talking more about this because this is one of the services that is very important for your certification exam, that is for developer associate. So remember Elastic Beanstalk is going to be one of the critical services that we will learn. For containers, we have Amazon Elastic Container Service or uh, ECS. We have the registry service that is Elastic Container Registry. And we also have the Kubernetes service that is EKS or Elastic Kubernetes Service. And for the database part, we will cover Amazon DynamoDB, Amazon Elastic Cache and Amazon RDS. In the Solutions Architect course, we had covered all of the databases that AWS provides. But here we will be specifically targeting these three databases and we will be covering the aspects of creation of table, how to insert the data, how to properly design a particular database. And we will also write code to actually implement that. Developer tools are something that we haven't focused on much in Solutions Architect, but in this course, we will cover them. And we have listed all the AWS services that we are going to cover as a part of the developer tools. So we have AWS code artifact, we have code build, we have code commit, we have code deploy, we have Amazon code guru, we have AWS code pipeline, which is very important, AWS code star, and AWS fault injection simulator, and AWS X-ray. We will do demos on each of these services, so be prepared to do that along with me. Okay, so remember whenever we do the demo, I want you to do that along with me so that you get one of the hands-on demos along with me and some of the demos might be pretty basic so don't worry about that this is just for your learning purpose and once you learn about a particular service and you are good in the hands-on demo that we will be doing you can go forward and implement your own and you can also experiment around so that you can get much more knowledge out of it next is management and governance here we will learn services like aws cloud formation and amazon CloudWatch. 
and for networking and content delivery we have amazon api gateway very important amazon cloud front and elastic load balancing security is very important when it comes to designing and developing and deploying applications on aws so for that with security identity and compliance in mind we will cover in depth on amazon cognito aws identity and access management that is iam and aws kms or key management service we have briefly discussed about these topics in our previous course but this time we will be covering in depth on each of these topics for security because that is very important cognito iam and kms and this is your roadmap like everything in life in order to achieve something we need a roadmap here as well we will follow a roadmap to focus on the goals that we have and if you want you can take a screenshot of this and keep it with you so that you know what we will cover and what you need to learn as well i hope i have made myself clear let's move on and if you want i can pause it for a few minutes or uh, you can pause it as well and take a screenshot and here we have the list of services that we will not work on for this course so please if you see any of the services in this list be assured we won't cover that in this course but if you have any requirements for any of these services which are in the out of scope list let me know we can cover that separately outside this course okay so remember any service that you're seeing here in the out of scope list we will not be covering it so if you see the list here i actually felt we could have covered aws application discovery service and uh, aws dms that is database migration service and web application firewall because i felt they are important considering the development aspect but i think we may be covering that in the database course or the security course so currently we will not be covering that and if you have any requirement then you can just comment on the video that uh, this is one of the services that you would like to to actually learn and we can make a video separately not for the course but uh, at least for the channel so i hope you got the point here let's move on so that's all for the road map to the aws certified developer associate exam and remember these sessions are really important and the next one and the next one is even more important so please make sure that you don't miss out on that and these first few sessions are meant to provide a base so make sure that you don't skip any sessions and one more request is that please subscribe and like the video it really helps the channel grow and this lets me make more videos like this and if your friends or team members are interested please let them know about this course so that way you can help someone learn things for free so that's it for today's session i'll meet you in the next one until then stay safe stay healthy it's pythalic signing off